everybody, welcome back to Gotham Garage slash Jack of All Trades. So, um, the other day I was on a job and they're, they're pretty much rebuilding a whole house. Um, I saw a bunch of stuff sitting in a junk pile. Well, I seen a little chainsaw sitting in there. They said, oh, I haven't ran that thing in probably 15, 20 years. Oh, all right. Well, the reason you're throwing it out? No. Nope. I just don't want it. I have no need for it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take it then. Because I don't have a chainsaw and I need one. So, um, yeah. Let's see if we can get this thing running. First off, let's clean it up. Get the carburetor off. Uh, it'll start. I threw some gas in it um, and it runs. But you give it throttle, it just dies right away. So I got to go through and do a bunch of work to the carburetor and clean it up probably. Uh, all that stuff. Anyways, um, let's get started. Uh, let me show you guys what this thing looks like. Here it is. It is a McCulloch Mini Mac. Oh, it's a Mini Mac 30. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's the air filter for it. And the air filter housing cover breather it covers the air filter okay it's got a clip on there you know holds it on oh mate oh. yeah I'll figure it out I hope no, something else I don't have I don't have a part bucket to put all this stuff in Uh, well, dang. Hmm. Well, there goes that, you know, slacking. Just kidding. I'll find something. Uh, let's see what we got right here. What is this? What, what is that? What, uh, Sure, I'll use that. That is filthy. Why didn't you guys remind me to clean that out? I don't remember what was in there. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's... These chainsaws were made, believe it or not, in Los Angeles, California. Um, I can't remember the year. I remember looking it up, but I got to... Go through it and check it out. I, I picked it up. Oh, I want to say it was almost a year ago now. <laughs> it should have been sitting in here. I'm just, I do stuff the hard way. Use the handsaw to cut trees down. <laughs> no, I got a skill saw that I use sometimes. But it would be nice to be able to use a chainsaw. Because that's what they're for. You know. Alright. I don't know why I do it the hard way, but I just, at least I don't use a damn axe, okay? But I have done that. Yeah. I'm getting too old, okay? I can't do this all day. No. Or this. Uh-uh. Not happening. <clears throat> Alright, so, it looks like I need to... Let's see what I got going on here. Give me a second. I gotta look at it for a minute here. Uh, we got some flat heads. Looks like eight millimeter. Um, I'm gonna learn as I go here, guys. Never torn one of these apart, so yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, I guess I could take off the chainsaw part right here. Ooh. Freaking brake works, look at that. Alright, let's grab some tools, huh? This one, and let's grab a 
10. I can find a 10 in here. There's a 10. Use a little tiny baby extension. All right. That's the first thing I'm gonna take off is this. They may even tens, man. That's a nine. Does that fit these smaller ones? What? Can't even get what? You know what? Actually, now I'm thinking about it. What am I doing? actually takes off this. No, it does not. Wow. Let's just do this. Grab all my hand tools and my screwdrivers. And go from there. Okay. Negative. That down there, I don't need it. There we go. Look at that brown one. Yeah. Oh shit. Ugh. Ooh. This thing's full of gas. Oh wow, dude. What the? Something bigger. Use this. There we go. Thing on or what? Nope. That's it. Get off of there. Somewhere where it's not gonna get messed up. Take it out right there. That should work. Alright, so there's the clutch. Alright. Let's go over here again. So we got some flathead bolts we gotta get out. And that looks like this thing right here needs to come off. And it looks like the whole housing has to come apart.
use those. left this one and one on the bottom what I'm trying to do is take this off down in the comments if you guys ever uh, used one of these chainsaws before um, I can tell you right now for me running it without a little bit of time they're freaking loud man. they're very very loud um, but they're they're okay I like them they seem like a good saw Don't, so when you take these draw cords out, or pull cords, um, don't tighten it up really hard. That way you can get it back off and slide it back through your hole. Oh, 
housing has to come off of here. I know that. Chain oil. It's empty. There's nothing in there. For chain oil, anyways. Uh, I know there's gas in here, though. What is that? Oh, that's the tightening screw for the saw. Guess it would have been helpful to look at the YouTube video or something of somebody doing this before I just started tearing into it. I guess I'll figure it out, right? We'll find out if I mess it up or not. See if I can find the other flathead that I got. Oh, there it is. Already found it. Look at that. Shoot. Good old husky products, you know. You know some people bad mouth them. They, they work okay to me, anyways. Ooh. Oh, shit. That's horrible. Um, let me continue taking this stuff off. Um, take your time, pay attention. You're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have your uh, your stop on off switch. The thing turns. Yeah, can't talk. Okay, it's okay. I'm not having a stroke. Um, you're gonna have that. You gotta get off. Um, just be careful. Look at what you're doing before you start ripping shit off. Uh, the choke has a screw in it. You got to pull out. And I don't think I have to. No, I don't have to mess with this side. Should just pull apart. So there should be two screws back here. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, there's one on the bottom. Oh, I see. So you got one here that pulls the whole case apart. Um, yeah. Let me get all this stuff taken apart so we can get into the actual engine. Get the cover off. And I'll be back. All right. For you guys, it'll be a couple seconds for me. It'll probably be an hour. I hope not. But we'll see, right? Yep, 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 yep. All right. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the front cover off. Uh, I'm going to continue taking the rest of the stuff off. Um, so the fuel tank, when it sits in here, uh, I noticed that there is a fuel line. Oh, I'm going to get some shit out of there. Uh, there's a fuel line down here that actually that it sits in. I'm going to get it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is how it sits in there. It sits just like this. Um, that fuel, there's a filter in there. Uh, there's an O-ring down here where the fuel line is. That goes up to the carburetor so you can get running and all that. That filter actually may be dirty that might be why it's not running hmm uh, anyways so that thing sits in there all you got to do is take a little screwdriver um, sits just like this but it's down it's seated all the way uh, just take your screwdriver pop up a little bit and then once it comes up just grab it and pull it out uh, if there's any fuel in that tank it's gonna spill out everywhere so uh, it'll be the only time you get fuel on your on your uh, workbench or whatever you're using um, don't use the kitchen table, guys. Okay? Don't. Not a good idea. <clears throat> Alright, and then uh, on the bottom here, you're going to have a bolt. Uh, I already loosened it up, but uh, I'm going to pull that one out. Uh, there was one on the top, too, right here. I'm going to pull that one out. Um, and then you're going to flip it over. <laughs> Just like a dish. 
see it's almost ready almost uh, I'm gonna grab a hammer because you need a hammer I guess that's what it says anyway use my dead blow um, this fuel line right here it sits inside of this so you're just gonna hit it pop it out of there there it is so that's out now the whole case should come off I hope we'll find out um, I watched a, a video <laughs> uh, but I still don't know if it's gonna come off yes it does there we go yeah buddy oh yeah so I can know what I'm doing but I don't Remember, I'm also doing this to clean this thing up. I mean, look how dirty this thing is. It's pretty bad. <coughs> so I'm going to stick this over here. Off to the side, away from everything. Um, I need a rag and some gloves on. Because now, I'm into the part of the engine. But we're going to have some fun. this far um, here's the carburetor that's what we're going after um, this is an automatic oiler for the chain this whole thing out like this thing is filthy um i'll be back let me i gotta clean this thing off guys I, this is bad <laughs> i need to be able to get to it and clean stuff up so uh, give me a second all right so <clears throat> it's all apart uh, i cleaned it up a little bit so you guys can kind of see it um i got a few things i gotta clean up but we're gonna do a separate video of doing the timing and doing the carb cleaning and stuff um, anyways so there's a video of how to rip one of these apart and clean it up or rip it apart take it apart take the motor out look how small this thing is guys these things freaking rip man they're they're insane for how small this thing is you'd be surprised that's all I'm gonna say um, like I said if anybody's ever used one of these let me know in the comments um, yeah I mean for a free chainsaw I, I'm gonna take my time and clean this thing up make it look pretty again um, yeah anyways uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button it helps out the videos uh, even doing likes sharing um, say hey never know yeah, it don't cost you guys nothing to subscribe s s s uh. <laughs> subscribe um, it just helps me out uh, I like doing these videos for you guys and kind of give you guys a you know a learning experience while I'm also learning I've never taken one of these apart this is the first time and I ain't done yet so um, yeah. All kinds of good stuff on this. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up real quick of this thing though. <clears throat> so what we got going on in here. So as you can tell, this is spark plug wire. Spark plug. Um, this is the coil. This is your flywheel got your uh, your contact point on here to give you spark I don't know if you guys can hear that or not hold on hear it it's 
barking. It's good. I'm still going to go through it, though, because, uh, yeah, I want to. <coughs> this is the fuel line I was talking about. That O-ring right there. Hopefully it's still good. Yep, it is. Slides into the bottom of that fuel tank. Um, this actually pushes into the back of the casing and holds it there on that yellow case. Um, yeah, here's the carburetor. Little tiny baby thing. Um, clutch. And then that's an automatic oiler. So what this thing does, actually, you know what? I think I'm missing a tube for this. Now I'm looking at this. Perhaps. Oh, no, no, it's still there. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> what this thing does is as you press a button on top, um, I'll show you when we go put it back together. That way you know. Um, it feeds oil into here as you're pushing that button and it oils the chain. So it's an automatic feed or oil feeder for the chain. Keeps it all lubed up for you. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, <clears throat> don't hesitate to ask. Um, keep in mind, I've never taken one of these apart before, so <clears throat> I'm learning as I'm showing you guys the video. <laughs> uh, not a big deal, though. I guess that's the only way to learn nowadays is just to do it. Um, a lot of this stuff you can't get no more. Um, actually, that's something I wanted to do. Um, so, these chainsaws were made in Los Angeles. Um, I want to say the last one was made in like the 80s, like 85, 84 and 85 when these were made. But uh, let me double check though. Um, what year? Manufactured by McCulloch Motors Corporation um, in well, Los Angeles. Uh, this one was made in Los Angeles. They have other ones in Canada and stuff like that. Um, it just depends on where you got it. Um, <clears throat> year introduced, 1973. Okay. 1973. That damn thing still works. They don't make shit like this no more. Okay? Don't throw this stuff away, guys. Fix it. It's an antique. Not really, but antique enough. I wasn't even born yet when this thing was made, okay? Um, and then they were discontinu discontinued in 1977. It's only a, a single cylinder, uh, mixed gas. So, you, you know, um, I use true, true fuel, the 50 to 1 mix. Uh, that's the only thing I run in these things. Um, they have other types out there you can use. This is ethanol free. Um, 92 octane. So it's just good stuff. Um, engine displacement is 1.78 cubic inch. 29.1 cc's. Um, that's actually pretty impressive. Let's see if there's anything else in here worth noting for you. Uh, cylinder bore is 1.375 inches. Piston strokes 1.2 inches. Uh, thickness it doesn't show. Cylinder type aluminum with chrome plated bore. Intake method piston ported. Piston ported. Manufacturers advised horsepower, not advi not advertised. Weight, not advertised. Operation configuration, one man operation. Handlebar system, rigid. Chain brake, yes. Clutch centrifugal. Drive type is direct. Die cast magnesium for construction. <clears throat> that uh, flywheel I'll show you. It's a flywheel magneto. Um, Carburetor is a Walbro MDC. 
Oh, okay. So I need an MDC carb kit. Cool. Uh, major repair kit, K1 MDC, minor repair kit, D1 MDC, that's what I thought. Air filter system, flock wire screen element. What? That is not a flock wire screen. This is plastic, dude. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it's wire. Okay. Um, I'll show you guys. Look at these things. Man, the stuff they came up with back then. This this is cool, man. I like seeing this old stuff. It, it trips me out, you know, and then you, you tear into one of these things and you see how it was made back then. This stuff wasn't made cheap. You're not going to find garbage on these things, you know. Stuff you might put in, it might be garbage. Because you can't get this shit no more. But, excuse my language. <clears throat> the heck was that? Um, starter is an automatic rewind, which is pull type. <clears throat> Oil pump automatic with manual override, which is the thing I'm going to show you guys. Ignition timing is 26 degrees before top dead center. That's good to know. Breaker point setting, point zero eighteen inches. Good to know. Flywheel coil, or flywheel coil air gap, point oh one two inches or point three three millimeters. Spark plug type. I don't need to know that. I already know it. Uh, well, in case you guys want to know, it's an AC CS four five T. <clears throat> Spark plug gap is 0.63 millimeters or 0.025 inches. Crankshaft main bearing is a cage needle roller. Fuel oil ratio is 40 to 1. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Recommended fuel octane. Regular grade. Mixed on oil specifications. McCulloch, two stroke chainsaw okay chain pitch is 3 8 low profile chain type McCulloch bar mount powder and an 08 link mm, yeah it's so pretty much uh, I just kind of give you guys the run through of the um, brochure of it um, it's also some other stuff in here for like me, a mechanic, to work on them. Um, you know, all the numbers and stuff that are really good to have. Especially the ignition timing and the <clears throat> breaker point setting and flywheel gap. Uh, that's... I'm going to need to know that. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. So, you know, 1973 to 1977. Wow. And... There's a lot of folks out there that say these chainsaws are junk because they're really hard to start. You got to work on them. You got to keep them clean, guys. Don't run them and just stick them in the shed. Don't do that. Clean them up. If you have gas in them, get the gas out of it. Drain the oil out. All that. Don't leave stuff in it. It's just going to gum stuff up. It's going to ruin stuff. Um, and like all the dirt and stuff all over this, I have to go through here and clean all this shit up because it's... That throws everything off too. Um, yeah. Anyways, till next time, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share, please. See you guys next time, which will be here pretty soon, because I'm going to take everything apart to to do the timing and everything else. But uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.